Hello, my name is Jim Uphoff. I'm the Fixture Product Manager for ETC, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at Source Forward. Specifically, we want to look at dimming performance, color performance with gel, and some of the various optics that are available for this fixture. What we're looking at here is a Source Forward and a 575 HPL Long Life Lamp. We're controlling this with a Geo console feeding a Smart Module 2 with a five second dim cycle. What you'll notice on the way out is how well the Source Forward fades out smoothly. You may notice on the way up, however, a bit of a pop-on of the Source Forward at the low end. This comes from the electronics needing to be powered up as the dimmer first turns on. We'll take a look at ways to help with that a little later. Now let's take a look at it with a 10 second fade. And finally with a 20 second fade. What we're looking at now is a five second fade of both fixtures, but we've applied a 2% preheat in the console on source forward. What this does is prevent power from being completely cut to the fixture, allowing the electronics to stay powered up, which can help prevent the fixture from popping on on the low end. Now the amount of preheat needed for this may vary depending on the dimmer that you're using. One thing to note is that the amount of preheat may also affect whether or not the LEDs go completely out. So depending on your situation, you may still have a bit of a glow of the LED in the back of the fixture. Now let's take a look at a 10 second fade with the same setup. and now a 20 second fade. This demonstration will show a source forward being controlled with a DMX signal next to a 575 long life lamp being controlled on a smart module 2. The first demonstration is a five second fade. Now let's look at a 10 second fade. 
This is a high quality theatrical dim. You'll notice the beautiful dimming quality here as it slowly turns on and off, melting away without any flickering or dropout. Now let's take a look at 20 seconds. Just as people had to adjust to the Source 4 when it came on the market, or any other new lamp technology, there may be some changes that need to be made to your gel catalog. But with lots of choices out there, that should be easy enough to do. What we're looking at now is R66. What we're looking at now is Li 116. Now you may notice on the camera that they look almost identical. I will say here in the studio, there are some slight differences in the color. The incandescent fixture has a little more green component to it. What we're looking at now is Roscoe 27. Now you'll notice that the incandescent fixture uh, seems to be a little bit brighter, even though that the total lumen output is about the same between the two fixtures without the gel in front. Part of the reason for that is that the HPL lamp has a lot of energy on the red side of the spectrum and therefore reds will render as brighter. But we also get a really nice rich uh, color from the LED as well. So the message here is not that one's better or worse than the other, they're just different. This is Roscoe 05. Now what's interesting about this light pink color is that in the studio they look almost identical, but you'll notice on camera that there's a slight difference here. This is sort of backwards from the blue example we showed earlier. This is Roscoe 08, a nice light amber. Amber is one of the regions of the gamut where we see a lot of differences between LEDs with gel and incandescents with gel, as you can see illustrated here by how they render on skin tones. This is Roscoe 80, nice deep blue. And what you're seeing on camera actually translates really well to what we're seeing here in the studio as well. Let's take a look at how that renders on skin tones as well. While the Source 4 LED Fresnel was not designed for this fixture body, it does fit and works rather well. If you do choose to use the Source Forward with the Psych Adapter, you may also want to use some gel. Just make sure not to apply that gel directly to the optic. That's going to wrap it up for today. I appreciate your time, and if you'd like to get a hands-on look at Source Forward, please contact your local dealer or rep for a demo.